Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brandon Bias from ChichaCheckIt.com here with a Photoshop beginner tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over a request from XSim1, and his request was for us to make a tutorial on a reflection, kind of like in this picture right here, where you see a little bit of reflection below the perfume here. And he was also wondering if we could teach you guys how to make it in a 3D perspective, kind of like in this picture. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a 3D effect going on over here. And that's really not a big deal, so let's get right into it, shall we? Let's open up Photoshop. And as soon as you guys have that open, go ahead and start up your new document. Like usual, I'm going to stick with a 1280 by a 720 resolution. But this time, I'm going to go with a white background and hit OK. And before we go into any actual 3D perspective kind of stuff, I'm going to give this background a little bit of a gradient to make everything look a little bit more interesting. So we're just going to unlock this background layer right here by double clicking the, the lock or just on the layer in general. And just for kicks, I'm going to name it BG for background. And let's give it the gradient, shall we? Go to the effects icon down here, give that a click, and we're going to give it a gradient overlay. And just stick with the normal settings, but lower the opacity to about 25%, so you get a nice uh, light gray to white gradient right here. And we'll just hit OK and close this up. And now we're going to jump right into this. So I'm going to simulate this effect just with a little bit of text. So I'm going to grab the text tool and make it nice and big and type the word reflection and hit OK or enter or whatever it is that you want to use and we're just gonna grab our move tool and position reflection uh, right about here and what we're gonna need in order to make the reflection is an upside down duplicate of the word so that's pretty simple we're just gonna make sure we have reflection selected over here and hit control J or command J if you're on a Mac and all we're going to do is hit Control T to bring up the Transform tool. If you're on a Mac, go ahead and hit Command T. And right click where you have your little box and go to Flip Vertical. And click and drag this down while holding Shift until it kind of matches up with the bottom of your word like so. And once it looks alright, go ahead and check mark it or hit Enter. And so now that we've got our upside down text, all we got to do is make it fade out, right? So that's pretty simple. Just make sure you have your copy selected and give it a layer mask by clicking this icon right here. Should say add layer mask. Give that a click and you'll get a new thumbnail right here for adding masking. And just to keep it simple, we're just going to grab our gradient tool over here and make sure we have our default black to white gradients and make sure it's this gradient right here not one of these other gradients because that'll give you a, a slightly different effect and click and drag from anywhere about midway on the the copied reflection and drag upward while holding shift so that it keeps it nice and straight to about halfway on the original reflection text and when you let go that should mask it so that it fades out nicely for you and you don't have to do it exactly like that if you want to undo that and give it your own gradient like maybe about right there just to give it a bit less of a gradient and lower the opacity then that works as well but I'm just gonna go back and do it the way I did it before and that's all there is to it so if you want to give it that 3d perspective like you saw in the previous picture all we're gonna do is grab our move tool and then with the reflection copy layer selected, control click the reflection layer below it to select both of them. Now uh, before we do any actual 3D transformation, we're going to have to merge these layers together by hitting control E on a PC or command E on a Mac. And that should merge them all into one layer. And now we're ready to bring up the transform tool like we did before. And holding control on the bottom right hand corner, we can drag it up. And if you want to, you can hold shift and that should keep it nice and uh, nice and straight there. And then bring the top right corner down a little bit. 
and that's already given it a slightly 3D perspective, but it looks a little bit stretched. So if you go over to this center left uh, box right here, hold control and bring that in towards the right until it looks, uh, looks about right. And then go ahead and just check mark it or hit enter and drag your layer into the center. And you're pretty much done. So if you want to add any effects to this, make sure you do so before you actually add the reflection and, on all, and all that good stuff. But keep in mind that this effect isn't only for text. You can do it with just about anything, like a picture. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to bring in a picture of Eli's weird monkey thing. And it's sideways, so I'm just going to go to image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. And I'm going to cut out this monkey real fast. And if you don't know how to cut something out, then go ahead and go to our masking tutorial. And while you guys are checking that out, I'm just going to cut this guy out real fast. Let's get right to it. Alright, so now I've got Eli's monkey nice and cut out here, and I'm going to give it a little bit of a background real fast by creating a new layer, and I'm just going to drag it below the, the monkey right here, and I'm going to fill it up by hitting control backspace, because I have white as my background color down here, and I don't really need a gradient on it, so we'll just jump right into giving this monkey reflection. I'm going to drag this up a little bit with my move tool. And I want to flatten out this bottom just because it's a little bit choppy. So I'm going to grab my rectangular marquee tool, make sure my feather's at zero pixels. And I'm going to drag a box a little bit on the bottom of him. And just hit backspace and then control D to deselect or command D if you're on a Mac just to flatten out his butt right there. And I'm going to grab my move tool again so I can hit uh, control T and bring up the transform tool. And once again, just right click, flip vertical. Oh, whoops. <laughs> kind of forgot to duplicate it. Control J to duplicate it, or Command J if you're on a Mac. And let's try this again, huh? Flip vertical. There we go. And click and drag downward while holding Shift so that it stays aligned perfectly. And we'll hit the check mark. And that looks just about right. Let's just give him his mask by hitting this icon right here. And we'll grab our gradient tool like we did before. And let's drag from about here to there while holding shift. And looking, oops, it's a little bit big. And looking pretty snazzy right there, huh? So that's all there is to making reflections and adding a 3D perspective. So hopefully, once again, all this made perfect sense to you guys. And as usual, if it didn't make sense, then go ahead and leave a comment, and feel free to leave any more requests for us, and be sure to check out our masking tutorial to see how you can mask out monkeys and people and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So, thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.